Hello, welcome back to Golden Channel. I'm starting a new series today, which is called the JavaScript User Interface Series. And in the first lesson, we will learn how to code a splash screen with vanilla JavaScript. So during the implementation, we will learn about JavaScript set timeout function and the CSS transition property. And after implementing the basic splash screen, we will learn how to do the multi-step animation, which is uh, mixing up, chaining up two different animation. So let's get started. So first of all, uh, I have my uh, file here, and let's think up the dash sheet, splash dash CSS, and then let's uh, import the JavaScript file. So source is splash dot JS, and I want it to be deferred. So now let's begin with my logo. So if I save it. I should see it on the live server and now let's try to make it smaller first so let's choose the SVG width equals to uh, 50 viewport height viewport width so now this is smaller you see and because I have a viewport unit so it could a string with my width and now let's try to get it in the let's try to center it make it in the center so it's we are going to use the flash box and its parent element is now body so let's use the body uh, display facts facts and the justify content center align item center all right now you see it is horizontally centered but vertically it is not centered because we will need a height property for my uh, parent element so let's set its height at 100 viewport height okay now it is set in the middle so now let's get it with the um, javascript so let's use the document dot document dot so we have a lot of choices here but let's use curious data now let's curious data the tag name svg and uh, let's store it in a variable called element and let's console log it it is a good practice to console log everything so we can debug during the way so let's use the inspect and then open up the console so we see we have uh, uh, get the svg element so now let's try to make it style so we will use the set timeout function which is if we want something to happen after a while say two seconds which is 2000 milliseconds and what we want it to happen let's say we want it to start up just like, just like my starting animation so now I have uh, set the callback to the set time out to the start up so let's, let's define this start up, start up and then we bring it to pass any argument to it and now we want the element dot style dot top equals to I want it to move out from the screen totally so I want to set negative 100 field height so now nothing happened because the element is top is not defined by its position but is defined by the parent element flash box so let's uh, add a parent element to it div oh, div okay and now we need to move the svg inside and now the code is not properly indent so we can use shift alternate add now this is properly indent and now we can add a class name to the div so that we can get it let's uh, call it uh, splash container splash dash cg and out and now let's change it to splash dot splash cg and out and here instead of getting this svg we want to get it with the dot splash cgnl all right now after two seconds it should go away let's see now it has not go away because this top is to be paired with the uh, display property of the splash container so let's display it as the let's call it position absolute all right and then top zero okay now you see that it has gone away and let's add a border so we can see that where it is now let's border solid red you see 
now it is here so let's add a width to it width 100 degree hot height width now you see that it has gone away here so let's uh let's make it not instantly so now it is setting it to move away instantly so now let's add a transition this is where the css transition property comes in now we are uh, setting its top so let's set the top property if you don't use the top property you can use the all property so let's it happen in 800 milliseconds so you see after a while now after the timeout let's set it as let's say uh, three seconds after a while it will start up you see after three seconds this one it will start up at 800 milliseconds so this is how to do it with the uh, vanilla javascript now you see that there is a white border you see there is a white border here it is the uh, margin of the body so let's set body margin zero now we have removed the white white margin and now you see the border is causing it so let's add a border root uh, no not root all element box sizing border box box sizing border box now the border should not be a problem you see now the whole div is sliding away so this is uh, now we need to uh, refine it a little bit because this uh, SVG property is uh, this CSS property is applying on all SVG which may not be what we want so let's define this SVG in this best container so we should add it a prefix to it dot spec container SVG inside dot spec container so now this is a better way of defining the style and here we have this we don't need to console log in now so we can remove this line right. so this is the most basic uh, splash screen but now let's say we want to do it better so let's say we want to uh, do a multi-step we, we want to enlarge it first so let's try so let's say if we want to uh, enlarge it so first of all this one should be string to a very small so let's not call this first you see so now it should stay here and now we want it to be uh, small so we need to set the svg to be transformed with the scale function and zero all right so now it's gone and now here we will set this element the element dot svg the svg inside this uh, div should be style dot transform and it should scale as one the scale is one all right let's see after three thousand seconds does it happen yes after three thousand milliseconds this is three seconds this one uh, appear instantly so if you don't want it to appear instantly we will use the uh, transition here so let's set it as the transform property 800 milliseconds so let's try so after three three seconds it will becomes bigger okay so now this is uh, okay this this transition should apply here this transition because it is transition on the svg element so let's try again so first of all there's no because scale zero after three seconds it try it start to uh, enlarge so this is how to implement the enlarge and how to change change up i want to enlarge the logo and then slide up it so now let's uh, implement it so i want this both to happen all right if th there are two ways to do it the first way is i use one more set timeout inside this function so the first way is for example if i do it in the javascript way ja set timeout uh slide up okay so this one is enlarge this one is enlarge i call enlarge in the global enlarge in the global and then i call style up in the uh, enlarge so after another three seconds i want it to style up okay and now i have to define the style up okay style up again okay let's call this style up 
So this one, I want this to start up. And I will remember to define the transition here. The transition top. Okay. Okay. If you don't have this top, it will be going up instantly. So let's try again. First of all, uh, after free scan, it enlarge. After another free scan, it start up. So this is how to do it in a JavaScript way. But there is a easier way with CSS. So let's uh, comment this out. All right. Instead of doing this, okay, let's not call it EL and it is too uh, not specific. So let's call it the spec screen container. Spec screen container. Spec right. screen container. Let's use the camel case. Spec screen container. Spec screen container. So now, first of all, we have the uh, SVG to uh, enlarge, and secondly, we will need it to be with the container to be top 100 now if we don't change anything it will happen at the same time so let's see after three, three seconds it enlarge and it start up again at the same time so we don't want them to happen at the same time so let's here let's add a delay so first the first time is the duration and the second time is delay so let's delay uh, say 800 milliseconds. Oh, it should be free. Free, I guess. Free 800 milliseconds, let's say. Alright, for example, it will enlarge and then start up. You see, so the delay should be the same as this transition. So if this transition, uh, let's say it is uh, 2 seconds, and then I want this to be 2 seconds. Let's try it. it is enlarged and after it enlarged I want it to be and if you want it to stay for a while then you uh, increase this delay to three seconds for example okay so it is enlarging slowly and then after one second it will start up so one more second so if this is too slow you tune it to 800 milliseconds and then you add one second to 800 milliseconds for the delay so this is uh, better and at the beginning, waiting for the 3 seconds is too long, so let's wait for uh, 1 second instead. So let's do this. After 1 second, it enlarge, and after 1 second, it start up. So this is more perfect. So this is how to do it with the enlarge and then slide up. So how about if we enlarge and then fade away? So we will need a third uh, uh, transition. So let's, let's try it first. Okay, so for, for example, I have the uh, instead of uh, making it die up, I want it to happen like this. I want it to be right, let's move it here. Instead of this, I want it to be opacity. Opacity change to zero. All right. I want it to be opacity zero. So let's let's see what happened. After one second, the opacity is zero, so the uh, logo doesn't appear. So now we need to set it here. Opacity set instead of top, set a delay to the opacity. So let's try. Uh, it will enlarge and then the opacity will be zero, so it will fade away. But if we use two step animation here, there will be a problem. Let me show you. For example, if I have some commenting here, for example, uh, low one ism, low one ism, low one ism, alright. Okay, suppose I have some content here, you see, after it's died away, I can click my contents. Okay, if it is not obvious enough, let me add a button. Let me add a button. Let's say, uh, click it. You see, yeah, I can click it. I can click the button or I can click it you see there is a problem with it because if we add a uh, background to it background color background color uh, let's add a very slight gray if it is FFF it is white so if it is DDD it is a very light gray so let's try again we have a light gray here and now it is uh, opacity is zero but it is that it is still exists there so it is blocking us so we will need one more so we still we still need to uh, make it start away okay 
Yeah, I, anyway, you, you can do it anyway. You can use the uh, set timeout to make the display as none, so it is gone entirely. Or you can use the style top and make it slide away. But now you will need to use comma here. You need to set, define two different transitions. So the second one is uh, not, not transition. The second transition property is top. Okay, let me put it here to be more uh, better. So let me follow this one top and then I want it to happen almost instantly. So let's say one millisecond is the duration. And now we need to calculate the delay. So first of all, we want it to follow this opacity. Okay, so we need to have wait for 800 milliseconds for the opacity and 1800 1, seconds for the opacity delay. So we do a simple math here by adding that up. 2600 milliseconds, which is the sum of the delay and the duration of the first animation. So let's try it. So let's try it. So now it will enlarge and then opacity will you. And now instantly it will start away. So now I should be able to click it. Nope. All right. Let's see what is the problem. Let's see what is the problem. Let's put it back here. It should enlarge and then slide away. Okay, if this one is not working, then we will go back to the display none method. So now we will set timeout here. Instead of doing this, we will set timeout. Okay, we can use control slash to uh, disable it and then I will make it gone. Gone. Okay, and the gone is and the gone function. It should be element.style.display equals none. Okay. So now it should be gone. Okay, this dot the element because there's no so there will be console lock, console error, there's no element. I should use this variable name which is space container. You see? So now let's do it again. It will enlarge, opacity fade out, and it is gone. So I am able to select the test now. You see, I'm able to click the button and see that the test now because I need to add another time so that this one is gone. But this time, 300 uh, second, 3000 millisecond is not the correct time because I should do it with uh, 2600 2, millisecond yeah, to be precise. So this is a very specific time because I need to depend on the uh, duration and the delay of my last animation. So this is how to implement it if it is uh, fake away. So if it is fake away because it is still there, so we need to uh, make it disappear. So we need to add one more hidden animation. So that, that, the last thing is, okay, the last thing is if now I click this refresh and I Okay, so you can start on it. Let, let's try it with more content here. Let's see if I have low one ism, low one ism, low one ism, low one ism. Low one ism, low one ism, low one ism. Low one ism. Okay, let's see if I have a very large now. If I refresh my page, you see this, this is here. So this is not what I want. I want it to be blocking the site. Uh, blocking the field pot not here so it is very simple the solution is uh, in the space container uh, we, we add here instead of the absolute position we should use fixed position fixed position so now no matter where i am it will block the screen you see even i am scrolling down it will block the screen you see no matter where i start my field pot it will block the screen and then fade out and it will display none so I can click the things benefit. So this is how to implement a multi-step animation splash screen. So I hope you like this video and uh, if so please uh, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment so I can know. Uh, thank you. Look forward to seeing you in lesson 2 of the JavaScript UI series. Thank you. Bye bye.